What's up my family and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make Chinese food with using exactly what you have up in your cupboards and your fridge and your freezer. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's start with the General Tiles Chicken. Get you some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Wash them up, dice them up. So I have like medium chunks here. Now what you wanna do is just get your seasoning. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of five spice and a little bit of no salt blend, just to give it like a little bit of more of an Asian flair. Now I'm going to dust those in flour until they are well coated. And this is how you want your chicken to look after you flour it. And you can use chicken breasts for this recipe also or chicken tenderloins, whatever kind of chicken you have on hand. And again, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs for mine. So after you have it nice and floured up, then you wanna get it all fried up. So I didn't show the frying process, but this is how they came out, pretty golden, beautiful brown. So now you want to turn it into general tiles and we can't get out right now. So I'm using what I got to get what I want. And I'm using my general tiles up in the jar and we go pizzazz this up. We go sprinkle that right on that chicken and we go make it do what it do. Now you can feel free to go ahead and make this from scratch. I did not have all of the ingredients to make it from scratch, but I did have the jarred stuff on hand. Works for me. So now I just have my heat on a low and I'm just going to keep stirring up these little chicken pieces until they are well coated. And this is how you want it to look. Now what I did do is I added in maybe about a little, a half a cup of water just to thin out the sauce a little bit and make it stretch because I made too much chicken. So um, this is it with a little bit of water and the um, Jar General Tile sauce looks delicious and it tastes even better. But you know what? I didn't want to stop there because every time I order Chinese takeout, I have to have me a couple of shrimp egg rolls. This is what I had on hand. I got me some cabbage, carrots, I got me some shrimp, and I have me a pack of egg roll wrappers. So you know what's next. I roughly diced up my cabbage. I put those carrots in my little food processor. And now what I'm gonna do is cook this down a little bit. So you just wanna get you a skillet, Throw you in a little bit of oil. And now you just want to start sauteing your cabbage. And of course, you also want to throw in your carrots as you want to get those nice and soft as well. Thank you. 
and I just wanted to keep the seasonings real nice and light with these egg rolls so I'm just going in with a little bit of Asian five spice a few splashes of soy sauce and also a little bit of sesame oil Now you just want to mix everything all together and just cover it with a lid and let this cook down a bit. Now my cabbage is where it needs to be, so I'm going to go in with my baby shrimp. And this is what you want your egg roll mixture, or excuse me, filling to look like. So I'm gonna let this cool down a bit and then I'm gonna get to rolling the, these egg rolls up. And there you have it, a perfectly nice rolled shrimp egg roll. Now I'm gonna go off camera and roll the rest of my egg rolls and I will be back. Y'all, I couldn't stop at just the egg rolls and the general towels. I found something else in my freezer that I just had to add to the feast. First, what I'm going to do, though, before I add this, I am going to saute me some broccoli. So that was just a little bit of unsalted butter that I threw in a skillet. Um, like I said, I threw in a couple of broccoli um, florets. And I'm just going to give these a quick light saute because I still want to keep that crunch on them. Now y'all, I was so excited when I opened up my freezer and found this. This is the P.F. Chang's Mongolian Beef 
stir fry. And when I say PF Chains has like the best frozen Chinese food, like it just be slamming. So I think it came with like red peppers and green peppers. I think some string beans, the beef of course, and it comes in like a gravy sauce. But I just wanted to add some broccoli just to make it stretch more. And this, these PF Chains uh, meals, they do not take long. They take about 10 minutes. Add onions in there. So bomb. So besides adding um, the broccoli, I did go ahead and make me um, a little extra gravy to go in here as well. Because I wanted a lot of gravy to just sop up that rice. I mean, you could just have it without any extra gravy. If you don't like a lot of gravy, you could just skip this step or whatever. So now I have this on like a medium heat and I'm just looking for a cover down here looking for my cover because you want to cover this and cook it like I said for about 10 minutes just let it simmer and um, the gravy is just going to thicken up beautifully. So now I'm just going to cover this up and I'm going to let this simmer and I'm going to get back to those egg rolls, um, dump those in the deep fryer and I will be back to show you guys the finished results. And here you have it. And look what I also had in my refrigerator. I had some leftover soy sauce and duck sauce packets and we sure did use them. This is my Chinese food feast. You, you would think that you was in the restaurant. You would think that you would have ordered this takeout. Cooking on a dime, baby. And I have to leave my house. So as always, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my returning subscribers, I appreciate you as always. Everybody, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys next time.